Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigler here and welcome back to our video. So in this one we're gonna tackle boss Catwoman on my secondary account, so it's gonna be a bit more difficult than it would be on the main account. We're gonna start with some percentage all damage from Deathstroke with our snow globe. We're gonna have some fast pets on Power Girl. Power Girl is there to use my power cast, so let's get this going. I mean, other than the Chaos Tagging, which is usually a very annoying thing to deal with, doesn't really do much. Other than being a Catwoman, which is going to be quite annoying to combo interrupt. And on top of that, it's it's going to have some nasty specials. That special one especially has a lot of lingering dot damage that happens. I was hoping that special would be used on Deathstroke. To, I would be used on Power Girl, to be fair. So that kind of sucked. Yeah, I think the character positioning kind of sucked on mine. I should have opened with Power Girl. Okay, she got hit with that too. Is she gonna get killed? Nope! We got the clone summon. Yeah, that's not ideal. So as long as I get three second specials with the clone is fine. Though I don't think I will because the power transition is slow in the first minutes. In kill second fights, you really don't want the clone to be summoned in the first minutes. Yep. We couldn't get more than two. It's fine. Let's just get going with that stroke. Gap closing here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I kind of, I kind of pressed that special to a bit ahead of time there, and I was expecting it to go off before her special too, but it ended up going after it, and without me being able to cancel it, so that kind of sucked. It's not a huge deal. Okay, is she gonna is she gonna at any time use super move? Oh, she's got quite a reach on that. Like I know she's got a bit of a reach on it, but I was expecting her to want me to be to be a bit further away from her for her to feel comfortable triggering that special. Or a bit closer, excuse me, a bit closer. Bro! She has no sense of where I am in terms of using her specials. Like you're not gonna hit me with that, why you use it? Okay, super moving, come on, come on. There we go. We got the second clone in there. Bro, how do you block that? Why do you block there? Makes no sense. Okay, let's back up a bit. Okay, we got two third specials in the hop because the block is gonna reduce percentage all damage and death strokes done. Yeah, this is not really the best possible death stroke performance, but it was still pretty solid. Let's move on to the next team. Okay, here we have Dr. Fates. And Kim Flan Sakuman. Basically trying to do the exact same thing as I did with Deathstroke. I'm just trying to get her as low as possible on health so I can go in with Beast Boy without gears and try to kill her. That that will be fun. There's no way that will go wrong, right? Okay, hopefully Dr. Fate gets killed here on the first tagging. I first use Deathstroke because Deathstroke is a lot more optimal than King in this fight specifically, because we get Chaos tagging, so the clones can't. Oh, look at that. In the first fight, she uses the special on the first character. Now, she doesn't do that. Uh, but yeah, back to the point. Uh, the clones of King are only going to get one third special, like best case scenario here, because it's Chaos Tagging. So, this stroke is a lot more optimal to use first, to an extent. So, it doesn't matter that much. Okay, keep blocking here. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get her that easily to do super move. I guess I can kind of combo interrupt her. So if I do a swipe down, she seems to always swipe. Nope, never mind, she backed off here. No, I actually don't want her to do super move. Come on, use an ability on me. There we go. Because I don't have enough energy to get the clones to do well here. So now we, we should be able to get the clone in there. If you're holding block and backing off, you might be able to stall the fight pretty efficiently. It doesn't work against every single character, but I guess you can do that. Oh, it didn't kill me. Did I remember to remove the... I don't think I have the gears removed, actually. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. The clone did not, not die. That's all I care about. And yeah, that's about it for this clone. It's not going to do more than this. 
we can try to risk it because if you get the clone in the last minute there is like a small chance that you're gonna be able to use two third specials though it's really chance based let's use a special one here because i actually want to have a bit more health okay kill me okay let's try it Bam. no she blocked it that's the gamble you're gonna do if you want to have enough time to do two third specials you're gonna have to spam the first one as soon as you tag in and you're basically at the mercy of the enemy in terms of if they block it or not and then you might be able to do a second third special within that same tagging but that's why i don't like the strategy because it's very unreliable and risky let's see if we can combo and drop her ass it's not the easiest thing in the world but it's not unmanageable uh this is not going great bro chill anyway we did all our percentage all damage so king is not gonna do that much more anyway okay we got enough uh, stacks and oh boy that combo interruption worked let's do a super move too okay five mil not not too terrible that was definitely worth doing now let's move on to the Beast Boy fight and see how he randomly dies and I lose it. Okay, so here we have Beast Boy with uh, puppets. Manta with uh, Chakra. So let's get this going. I'm gonna try to open with Beast Boy, which is the different thing I did on the, the, the previous fight, but I bet now she's gonna try to use a special on Beast Boy instead of waiting for Manta. Because in those skill seconds fights, whenever you're going to predict when this first special is going to get used, it's probably not that a convenient point. But yeah, this time it worked. I think only her specials do splash damage. Can you kill Manta, please? Please, please. Beast Boy is going to be in so much trouble if he needs to tag in again. Let's do a special one here. That's infinite power. We're going to lose it, but it's fine. Oh boy, that's, that's a lot of damage on Beast Boy. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Yep. That went as good as you would expect. Uh, not sure what I could have done here to, to do better. Maybe the answer is actually that I should have opened the fight with Manta or some stuff like that. But nah, bro. I, I feel like this was almost no chance to work, to be honest. Okay, Batman the Drown can probably fix it. Uh, we got God Kid on her, we got this man with uh, level uh, sort of salvation, I guess. It's only for passive stats, I'm actually not gonna hit her. And since Class Quantum is only level 1 and I'm doing my active best to keep her at as low health as possible, I'm gonna open with her because I think she's gonna get killed without even getting hit by a special. Hopefully. Hopefully, because that 2k health gets buffed a lot by the artifact passive stats. And this is, yeah, that's probably not going to happen because we have a lot more passive stats overall than we had in the previous fights. Depends on if she uses the special one in this tagging. Nope, but it's fine because it's going to use on John. I'm fine with that. So John doesn't seem to be dying either. That might take some more time and some more taggings. So as soon as long as Batman the John doesn't get tagged in, I'm I'm really fine with this. Okay, that's great. And Classic Wonder Woman is gonna die too. Okay, we got lucky this time. We got real lucky this time. This is actually pretty much the best outcome. Might as well super move here. And now God Killer Batman the John should be strong enough to kill this, considering we gave her both Classic Wonder Woman and John Sir Green Lantern. Okay, 70 mil per second, that's definitely gonna be enough. So yeah, Batman Drone ended up sorting this out. Beast Boy would have definitely had the damage there, but... I was in a rough situation, and you might be like, well, you activated infinite power on him, why didn't you keep going? Because Manta would not have died. 
I mean, look, to be fair, actually, Rich, actually, actually, I think I could have done something there. Because if I activated infinite power on a beast boy, even if I blinded her and I uh, disabled her special abilities, I could have just cycled between them until she had super move available and super move would have hit, have hit meant and killed him. So, yeah, actually, probably we could have done the beast boy fights. M my bad, actually. I think that was my mistake there. Yeah, that's Catman down. Let's do some more cleanup with the rest of the bosses on the secondary count. Okay, so we got Zatanna here with puppets. We got EPI with Dark Metal cards, and we got Joker, I guess, with um, Sword of Salvation. We're gonna try to kill Grid. He's gonna be crit resistant and stun immune, and we also can't disable his um, abilities. So actually, it will be a bit harder to trigger. Can we even trigger Puppet on Zatanna? Considering that, well, I guess we're gonna find out. But yeah, this man is annoying to deal with. And I actually regret not just throwing a Raven plus Joker League of Anarchy earlier. That would have sorted things out. Also, I upgrade my Sword of Salvation before this fight. I didn't know I had the resources to, but it seems like I did. Okay, tag API, because... Before I attack the can I need him to also have some power so we can power drain something. Back off. Special wonder. Okay, this is not looking like it's gonna trigger puppets. I mean, with some EPI help, I guess we can, because she has some negative effects on some of her abilities. Can we? Is this infinite power? I, no. Mm, let's give it another try. EPI should be doing a bit of damage at this point, regardless of Poppy being active or not. I can somewhat combo and drop his ass. Okay, let's do super with EPI and let's see how it goes from there. Good thing I don't have tech characters because getting hit with that special 2 is absolutely devastating when you have a, a tech character because it's gonna pull that character out and ruin your full fight flow. Bro, chill. Chill, buddy. E3 special 1. Second attempt to actually trigger this on uh, Zatanna. Something I would like to oh, have at least is the blind effect active on him. Okay, we actually triggered it. Let's try to keep this. And I lost it. He's blind. Let's let's take advantage of that. And he's gonna see if we're moving back. We go to the middle of the field. Yeah, this thing was probably a bad idea. Probably I should have used Joker, because Joker can just extend his combos with the special 2 and would have been a lot more convenient to fight this man with Joker. Can we get the blind at least? I want the blind to be active again here. Okay, it's active. Actually, do one more special, because this is damage against target also active. Oh, that's, that's infinite power. Can we, can we do a couple of those and maybe get one big tag in with EPA to end this off? Nope. Yeah, I think I messed up here. I don't think I'm gonna kill this man. Yeah, definitely my bad here. This was... this whole fight was a mess. And it's definitely my fault. Well, let's move on. Okay, so here we have um, Raven with sort of salvation. Raiden. Raiden with twin blade, and then we have um, Redwood with chakra. So let's get this going. Hopefully, I have enough damage to kill Bane. I should. I definitely should. Begin. 
But there you go, those are gonna be literally the full fights on the um, secondary count, all six of them. So at least you got all of those in one place for the people who are complaining about the videos being shorter. Because honestly, I was getting a bit lazy and I was like, eh, I don't think I'm gonna do the secondary count today. But then like, why not? Why not? We, we get an interesting fight against Catwoman that might lead to some interesting scenarios. Which was Beast Boy dying to, to nobody's surprise. But yeah, with that Beast Boy fight, I think I could have salvaged it. I was too hard stuck on the mindset of uh, I can't activate Puppet properly until I get Manta killed. And that was not really the case. It's okay, We I, I'll know and do better in future fights. Not sure if we're gonna need the red hood time extension, but it's there if we do. A boy Raiden really didn't get anything out of the class ascension mechanic, poor man. Special one in there. Like Raiden back in. Yeah, I think we probably got this. And we're probably gonna kill him before the time runs out. Oh, oh, almost messed up here. Ooh, that was a close one. Block here. There we go. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Like it if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye!